Hello, I'm Stuart Bloor and I've just arrived on the canal. I've got worms on the hook and red maggots to put in as loose feed. And I've got a couple of hours up to dark. Not long, in fact, most of my sessions these days, due to the, the changing circumstances, i.e. being involved in football, that takes up a lot of time now. Um, I don't have the time for long sessions, but you can still squeeze these type of outings in. And when I left home, this evening, it was absolutely tipping it down of rain. But I've arrived here and it's nice and dry. Now, and I'm not being critical, if you do watch my videos regularly, you'll know that I'm not sarcastic or, or critical anyway. Purely inspirational and motivational. But I read so many times on social media where anglers say, I didn't go fishing today because it rained. And I think, I went and I caught. I didn't get out today because it's cold. <laughs> I just had a little tap there. Didn't get out today because it's cold. Well, I went and I had a good day. I stayed at home today because it was too windy. And I think, I went fishing. Do you know what? I caught. Don't let the weather dictate to your fishing life. In fact, don't let it dictate to your life full stop. But as far as angling is concerned, don't let the conditions become an obstacle or a barrier to getting out there. You might have to wrap up warm, you might need layers of clothing or specialised gear, especially in the winter. You'll certainly need an umbrella in the British weather. But the most important thing is just go anyway. And as far as getting wet's concerned, because it's just starting to rain now, as far as that's concerned, the fish, well, they're wet already. It doesn't bother them, does it? And my first fish, do you know what? I thought it might have been a rough, in which case it would have been a decent one. As it is, it's a perch. Still nice to catch though, aren't they? As you can see there, it's hooked cleanly in the mouth. Always strike early. The last thing you want, although you do need a disgorger, they are really like an insurance policy. The last thing you want is to be using one. At least I'm not a blanker, that one's gone back. And the photographs that you can see on the screen, some of the football adventures that I've been up to recently. I do live a, a very full life, I must say, but as I often describe it, busy but blessed. Best way to be, isn't it? But back to the comments I made about the weather and getting out. Obviously, if you've got health reasons, that's a different thing altogether. For example, you might have arthritis and it is difficult to get out under certain conditions. I'm not talking about that. What I'm talking about is for the vast majority of us, I'm getting another little tap there while I talk, for the vast majority of us, the biggest burden, the biggest obstacle, the biggest hindrance to not only going fishing, but also to enjoying life in all its fullness is actually up here. That's what I'm talking about. And the bite has stopped. It hasn't developed. Second fish, another perch, but marginally. Ooh, this is why you kneel down, I often say that. This is a lively one for sure. Marginally bigger than the first fish. As you can see, just a small one. But, as I often say, small, but perfectly formed. My favourite species, the perch. <laughs> that one's gone back into the water. A little bit different to our intended. I've had a few small fish. No, they're starting to get a little bit bigger, aren't they? Not monsters though, but I'll tell you what, as I said before, just great to catch. It's a great time of the day, late evening. The boats have moored up and I've caught me another feisty perch. And they are getting bigger. <laughs> I'm having to, having to struggle just to hold this one. There you go. Tell you what, I'm just going to show it to the to the camcorder quickly and get it back. And another one goes back. I don't show all the fish, of course, especially when they're just a certain size. But great to catch, aren't they? Fantastic. Go on. There you go. Before I cast out, let me show you my my setup. I'm fishing with a quiver tip rod. Great thing about that is it's already made up. So I do like flow fishing, but because I do a lot of short sessions. Got to get down here, thread all the line through, get it all set up, plumb the depth, etc. This is just a very convenient way of making the most of every opportunity. Well, I've got six pound line that goes straight through to a size 10 hook. I've got a third of an ounce lead, as you can see there, 
that's not anchored, that's free running. I've got an 8mm bead with a shot there, so the line goes straight the way through to the size 10 hook. Simplicity in itself, and there you go, a nice wriggly worm fished over a bed of red maggots. Simplicity, as I say, but most importantly, it's doing the business. And this is what I love to catch when I'm on the canal this time of the day. A lovely rough. Nice fish there. I've had them much bigger though. That one goes back. Now this is not a perch, it's certainly not a rough. I have a feeling that this is a chub. The tip pulled around, it's not a big fish. Indeed it is. I'm about to net it and I'll show you in a moment. We're well into dust now. I've got my light facility working on the camcorder. There you go, not a big chub, but if you were a matchman, as I've often said on the canal in reference to the bream that I land, if you're a matchman and you were getting one or two of these on a slow day, you'd certainly be happy, wouldn't you?